today we shall be talking about the value of money value of money means the purchasing power of money see money is just a piece of paper why is that piece of paper valued to you why do we care for it so much because that piece of paper has the power to purchase something you own that piece of paper and then you have the power to go and purchase so many items so that is why we value money money is the purchasing power of money so what is so hidden treasure in it because it has the buying capacity you can buy x number of things the larger the amount of goods and services money can purchase greater will be the value of money so you go on accumulating more and more pieces of paper which is called money and more and more goods and services and commodities you are able to buy from that money if lesser the amount of goods and services the money can purchase lesser will be the value of money so the value of money is directly proportional to the amount of goods it can buy more you can purchase more is the value of money let us elaborate this thing if you talk about crowther the value of money is what it will buy supposingly you want to go and buy jewelry so why do you value money because how much jewelry will you buy from that money that is why your money is valued to quote robertson the value of money means the amount of things in general which will be given in exchange for a unit of money so if you are going to spend 1 unit of money in exchange because you are giving away that unit what are the goods and services you are going to get in return this is according to robertson the value of money to quote keynes money as such has no utility except what is derived from its exchange value so you have mass accumulation of wealth at your home it is not going to give you any utility according to keynes when does that utility going to arise when you are going to exchange that bundle mass accumulation of wealth when you will exchange it for something else then arises the value of money that is the utility of money the utility of things which money can buy this is the real value of money so if we see all these three persons they are going to say almost the same thing now we will talk about the value of money and the price level the concept of money is correlated to the prices of goods and services see money itself is used as a unit of account you measure height in centimeters and in inches that is your unit similarly when you um take money it is used as a unit of account it is a measure of value of all other things because you can buy n number of things from money therefore you are going to measure all the things combined in terms of money so otherwise how will you compare with the tomatoes and jewelry and the house these are three different categories right but one category which is called money it can measure all these three things so money is a measure of value of all other things the own value of money can be seen only through the prices of other things just as i told you in the previous slide it is the prices of other things that is going to give us the value of money it depends upon the prices of goods and services to be purchased with money now one thing you understand which is called the value of money now we are going to concentrate on the prices of goods and services see higher the price level smaller will be the purchasing power of money if you talk about say 20 years back right the value of gold it was 5000 per tola right 5 in 5000 rupees you could buy one tola of gold but after 20 years today it is going to touch 60000 to buy the same one tola of gold you are going to give away 60000 rupees so what is this the price level has increased since the price level is increased the purchasing power of money has gone down the lower the price level greater will be the purchasing power of money if i talk 20 years back because the prices were low the price level was low so you were just able to sacrifice 5000 rupees and in return you will get one tola of gold so greater will be the purchasing power of money that time the purchasing power was high because the price level was less but today's world the high price level is so high that the purchasing power of money has gone so down so what do the people say oh you can't get anything in 100 rupees 
you can't get anything in 1000 rupees so what is this happening the price level is going higher and higher that is why the purchasing power is going lower and lower inverse relationship between the value of money and the price level one rises other falls again there is an inverse relationship between the purchasing power of money and the price level this is one and the same thing just to write it you should know for mcq purpose for the understanding purpose that price level and value of money inversely related price level and the purchasing power of money also inversely related according to irving fisher the purchasing power of money is the reciprocal of the level of prices so that the study of purchasing power of money is identical with the study of price level so when we study whatever we say about the purchasing power of money that means we are saying the same thing about the price level so purchasing power of money will be the reciprocal of the level of prices value of money from capital v it will be expressed as the reciprocal of the general price level capital p so v is equal to i upon p because they are inversely related when p will rise the price level will rise the value of money will come down and when p price level will come down the value of money will rise now listen carefully an individual at a particular time is not bothered with the general price level he is concerned with the prices of those goods and services which he wants to buy so what does this mean supposingly a common man has gone to the vegetable market to buy potatoes so he is in that point of time he is not bothered with what is the furniture price what is the jewelry what is the dollar price to hell with everything else he is only concerned with potatoes at that moment of time he wants to know the value of money in terms of potatoes in terms of that very item which he has gone to buy so value of money is a relative concept which changes from person to person depending upon the type of goods on which the money is spent so what income bracket are you falling in right what are you going to buy so one person at one moment of time he is just bothered with the item he is just bothered to know the purchasing power of money with the item he is going to buy at that moment in words of crowther the value of money without qualification is almost meaningless so whenever we will be talking about the value of money it will be a relative concept in comparison to in comparison to what you are going to buy so if you just talk about the value of money you are not coming to a meaningful conclusion so here comes to the end of the article i hope i have made the things clear to you you have any doubts ask me in the comment section kindly like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed